Hello, I'm Damian Ponce, Technical Promoter in SMA Iberica, and I will show you how to do the commissioning of the Sunny Island X as a system manager in an on-grid system. First of all, we will open a search engine. In my case, I'm using Google Chrome, and we will type the IP of the device. You can use an IP scanner to know the IP of uh, your inverter. This one is the main page. Here you have the uh, number of the device, the serial number, the network configuration, the current firmware, and also a device function for restoration if necessary. If we want to keep a um, fixed IP to the device, we go to change network configuration. We deactivate the automatic configuration. We set the new IP. And we also have some proxy settings and entity uh, server that we can activate if necessary. After setting this IP, we click on save. And now we have the IP set it in, the, in this device. Now we go to continue. Here we will add our personal data. In username, we will add the username that we will use to access to this, uh, to this device. And password will be the password that we will also use to access uh, into this uh, device. Clicking continue. And now we give the device a name and we select how we want it to operate. In this case, the device will operate as a system manager. This means that it will be the brain of the plant. For the name, I will put Sunny Island X and Naja. Click in continue. Now we are in the page of communication and updates. We will have to click in the automatic uh, updates and click in continue. Now we are in the device registration. Here we can add other devices to the system. In our case, we have one Sunny Power X for the PD and one SMA commercial energy meter. And this is why we will use this second option to add these devices. So we click here and in here we will put the password of the devices that we want to add. We recommend to use uh, one unique password for the installer user role. This will be the one that the Sunny Island will use to access to these other devices and to find them. We click on search. This can take some time depending on the devices that you have in your network. The device has found 14 devices. We click on continue. And in our case, we said that we are going to add the Sanitary Power X and the energy meter. And the serial number of the energy meter that we are using is this one. So this device, and we click in uh, continue. That's it. We have added two new devices to the system. We click on continue. And now we are in the page of the battery configuration. We click in these three dots edit interface, and we choose static IP address, okay? Now you click on save. This is necessary to find our SMA batteries. We click on add now, and in manufacturer, we have three options. We are using our batteries, so it will be the last option, the test ball batteries. But depending on the battery that you are using, you will need to do it via Modbus TCP or, or CAN. Our case is testball, so we choose this battery. And here we have to add the IP of these batteries. The IP in this case is 192.168.12.130. And continue. And 
the system has found the batteries. We can see here the information of these batteries. We click on done and we click on continue. Now in this new page, we have to select the country. In our case, we are based on Spain and the, the grid code that for us would be this one. Okay, here we can leave it as it is. We click in continue. And here we just go to continue. And here we have to choose the meter that we are using for the energy that we are taking from the grid and that we are also using to measure what we are feeding to the grid. In our case, it's the energy meter. It's a reference counter and also the same energy meter as a grid feeding counter. In this page, we can activate or enable the Modbus server. We are not using it now, so I, I will leave it as it is and continue. Here we can set the active and reactive power set points. Okay, we have several options. We can click in each of them and configure it. In our case, we, we leave it for now as it is. And it is done. The system is already configured, but we still have one last step, which is to go to configuration, energy management, and create profile. Here we have four options. The first one is to increase our self-consumption. The second one is to do peak load shaving. The third option is the sleep mode when we don't want the batteries to charge off or discharge. We want the system like in, in standby mode. And the last option is the multi-use. We leave one part of the battery for big load shaving and the rest for self-consumption. If we choose one of them, for example, big load shaving, we will have to add a name to this configuration and also the power that we are going to take from the grid, the maximum power, I will set here three kilowatts. We are in a small office and we'll just choose the power. And then we have also to add, to set things like the billing interval tariff and some extra adjustments. We can save and activate, activate the profile and that's it. Sometimes it's necessary to reboot the system in order to start working. And we also have to be a little bit patient since it has to connect and can take some, some minutes. I hope this is helpful and thank you.